Chances are you've heard your favorite fitness influencer talking about macros, but what exactly are macros? Macronutrients or macros are nutrients which make up our diet. All foods fall into one of two categories. You've got micronutrients and macronutrients. Macro means large, micro means small. As the name suggests, we need macronutrients in larger quantities, whereas we require smaller quantities of micronutrients. Macronutrients include carbohydrates, proteins and fats. These are used in the body for structure, function and fuel. Micronutrients include vitamins and minerals. These are used to support and manage processes in the body. Without indulging into excessive information here, I'll just cover key points that are relevant to you and your personal programming. However, if you are curious to find out more, I have created a detailed PDF on nutrition. You may have seen people do low carb diets. I know I grew up thinking that carbs were the enemy. Thanks for that diet culture. But carbohydrates are a key macronutrient essential for energy. When choosing your carbohydrate sources, try and select whole meal and whole wheat products as these tend to have more vitamins and minerals since white bread and white pasta are usually bleached of all their goodness. Protein is another macronutrient and is essential for maintenance and repair of every cell in our body. There are animal protein sources as well as plant-based protein sources. For example, lean cuts of meat, milk, cheese, eggs or beans are great sources of protein, as well as nuts, seeds and soya products such as tofu. Fats are so important in the body and again they can often be demonised. They are a great source of energy especially during lower intensity workouts. They assist with the transportation, storage and utilisation of certain vitamins. Fats also help with the protection of internal organs and are used for insulation purposes. A lot of the foods we consume daily already contain fats such as meat, dairy products, nuts, seeds, avocado and oily fish. When designing your personalised nutritional goals, you will be supplied with a calorie goal as well as your macro goals. If you are completely new to tracking calories, I wouldn't get too caught up initially in macros and would just focus on tracking your calories. After all, calorie deficit is king here. However, as you become more experienced, you may want to increase your awareness of your macronutrient intake. For example, if you eat a high protein diet with a low carb intake, you might find yourself overly tired as you aren't getting enough energy from your diet. So it's something to consider. Carry on watching to find out my personal tips for weight loss.